Hey guys, the Nickmaster21 here, and I'm sure you guys just learned something new. I play Roblox. Um, I've been part of the website for quite a while now. Uh, I took a big break playing, and now I'm kind of just a scripter, place builder type person. I don't play the game very much for the games on it. Um, you can, might be able to hear my birds in the background. I'm sorry if you can. Um... Yeah, I spend most of my time on the scripters forum. That's just kind of one of my pastimes. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys my first terrain generation type thing. Um, I had one attempt in the past, but it didn't even work, so I don't even count it. But here is my first terrain generation. Uh, I used the basic Roblox Studio, the old one. I don't use 2.0. Um, here we go. Did you see it's an empty place? Woo, nothing. Yay, nothing. Go over here. Um, yep, that could be a problem. That needs to be fixed. This script right here is not supposed to be inside GUI script. So as you're seeing, I am fully capable of moving stuff around when it gets placed in the wrong spot. It's a skill I have, valuable skill to have. Uh, let me republish this before I mess with it any more. I used to have Outrageous Builders Club. That's what all these are from. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Okay. So, there's a um, GUI that comes on screen if you're a uh, admin or whatever. Uh, I have the player, uh, the player when you test is set as an admin, and the Nickmaster24 is set as an admin. This GUI, it's not very fancy or anything, but I use it when kind of demoing. Uh, it's very laggy when you try regenerating, which is why I don't give it to just anybody uh, that joins the place. Uh, let me show it off first, then I'll get to the source code after that. So let's... I, I'll show it to you in the default settings with Play Solo. As you can see, this is an example. Down here, you can see all of the different variables that can change that can affect generation. My fancy little GUI I literally threw together in like 20 minutes. Oh, Roblox sounds. Yeah, but here you go. Um, it's made of parts, not the Roblox, whatever they have for terrain. I don't like it. So close this. No, I don't want to save changes. I still don't understand what that box pops up for. It's silly. Okay, so um, I'll show you another example. As you can see, it lags on generation a tiny bit. Lags way worse than my laptop. And you guys might be wondering, why does it look funny like that? Why does it have the same thing duplicated on the bottom? And that is from two reasons. The first reason being that I'm lazy. And I'd have to modify the script slightly, obviously, to make the bottom flat. The second reason is I always thought it was kind of cool just to see the bottom of it because it's like a perfect reflection. So here you go. Here's another different example. Um, show you guys one more. We'll go into here. This is the size of the map and the number of actual spots in the grid so we'll make this a little bit smaller the scale is how wide each part is uh, we'll make that a bit smaller too uh, five uh, we'll change the minimum height too we'll make that a hundred the changes is the number of individual hills it makes uh, I'll get into that when I show you guys the code and this is the minimum and maximum radius of those hills that are made I'm going to just lower the number of hills made, and hey, why not make that 25? As you can see, you can end up with some really ugly stuff, you can end up with really beautiful stuff, it all depends, and it's completely random too, so. Uh, did I met? Of course, I messed something up in my video. Bad argument. That, oh, that is definitely an issue. The map size cannot be zero because then the script does not understand what is going on. There we go. So here we have 
an example of a very ugly generation. Um, yes, that can happen when you make the radius too high and the change is too high. Is the max radius and then the change is too high. If I turn down the number of changes, it still doesn't look very nice. But hey, it doesn't look as bad as it did. Um, that is the minimum height right there. And the top of this mountain will be the maximum height. The code also makes sure that the top, the highest peak is the top height and the smallest valley is the minimum height. If it didn't do that, you'd end up with a, um, it could get very tall or not be very tall at all. And you can end up with different things. This just makes it look more nicer, I guess, more nicer. That's terrible English. Yeah, but it's kind of what it does. Um, we'll go back in here. One last example. 15, go to changes. Uh, let's turn this to 30. Make the map size 50. Turn this all the way up to 300. See, that, I, I think that looks pretty cool. There we go. I'm impressed by my own work. That sounds kind of self-centered. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. There we have it. I say I'm a lot. I apologize for that. If it really bothers you, I'm sorry. But it's just kind of how I talk. Highest, 300 right here. Lowest, right? It might be there. I know for sure, though, it is also... No, it's not also there. Where is it? It's also right here. This is right here. Now, if you look in the blocks, I might be lying to you guys right now. Um, storage container. Woo! Oh, crap. Um, <sighs> Ungroup. Lag. Okay. If you look at this part, look in the properties. See? 300. I lied. The max height is actually half. The height of that block because it duplicates it on the bottom that is my apologies i was lying about that i'm sorry guys i'm not a very truthful person am i i'm sorry and then one i'm sorry i've told you guys like one last generation a million times i won't do another one i'll start showing you guys the source code now okay so uh first up here we fill up a table we fill this table up with a whole bunch of a different arrays, uh, we turn it into a an array with like two dimensions instead of one dimension as a normal table in Lua. This is all in Lua. If you don't know what Lua looks like, this is Lua. This is what Roblox uses to script. Um, here we go. We actually generate the terrain. Um, the way this works is it makes a series, a whole bunch of bumps. Here, uh, you can't see my finger. I just pointed to my screen. Wow. Okay, so here it chooses the center position for the bump randomly and it makes a random size or radius for that bump. And then this is just for optimization to make sure it doesn't have to affect all of the different cells and it doesn't, yeah. So that just makes sure you're not modifying a whole bunch of different cells that don't need to be modified and stuff like that. Uh, here we go through this. And here's a fancy equation, and here's what the equation does. It does stuff, and the changes, as you can see, goes back into here. It helps make sure you're not creating big bumps, and it's just fancy algorithm stuff. I messed around with numbers till it looked nice. So you can dissect that yourself and if you're a mathematician and you're really interested in that. And then these are just default values. Um, those don't really have a big effect. Uh, here's the thing that makes sure that your site, it's between the smallest height and the biggest height. And here's the rest of it. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to look at the stuff, but it's all here. You can pause it there, or there, or there, maybe even there. But I hope you liked it. Um, comment, subscribe, like. Comment, subscribe, like, subscribe. Oh, and like. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm NickMaster24 on Roblox if you'd like to contact me there. See you guys later.